Shalom, Yasha Allah. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh the waters to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, teaching this word in truth and sincerity. The old and the new covenant was given to the children of Israel. The old and the new covenant is only for the children of Israel. Jeremiah 31 verse 31 and it reads behold the days come saith the Lord that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah now if you know anything going back into history the children of Israel were split into two kingdoms under King Solomon's son Rehoboam and a wicked Ephraimite king, Jeroboam. The house of Judah represents the three tribes of the southern kingdom. Judah, the so-called Negroes, Benjamin, the West Indians, and Levi, the so-called Haitians today. The house of Israel represents the northern kingdom. Okay, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Ishakar, the Mexicans, okay, the so called, right? And the Latin tribes on, respective Latin tribes on down. So it says, Behold, the days come and say of the Lord that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the hand out of in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. So it says, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers, whose fathers? The house of Israel and the house of Judah, which altogether is the children of Israel, which consists of today of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which you are the Heavenly Father's chosen people. You are the Hebrew Israelites. Okay? Said it again. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the ones that you do come from the sea line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and also you confusion of faces out there scattered abroad, you are the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, you are the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. Okay, the Bible is speaking about you from the front to the back. And the covenant, the new and the old, is for you. Well, let's just let the scripture speak. So verse 32 again, it says, Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of, of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, Although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts, and I will write it in their hearts, which meaning their mind, and will be their God, and they shall be my people. Right? So that so the new covenant the Heavenly Father is going to put is the law, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts, right? That what? And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them. So we're not going to have to teach our brothers, you know, uh, not to commit adultery, right? How to keep the Sabbath, Sabbath not to eat pork, because it's going to be written in our inward parts. That's the new covenant. It says, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity. Right, whose iniquity? Whose sins? Israel's. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Whose there is it talking about? We're still, re we're still going in context like you Christians, you wacky tacky Christians like to say, read in context. Well, who's they're talking about? 
talking about Israel. He's still speaking to Israel. Right? He says, for I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea when the waves thereof roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. So if you don't see the sun, if you don't see the moon, or if you don't see the stars, right? It says the seed of Israel also shall cease being a nation before me forever. So Israel, if them ordinances were done away with, then Israel wouldn't be a nation and to the heavenly father. But as long as you see the stars. The moon and the sun. Israel is still a nation to the heavenly father. Right. Verse 37 it says. Thus saith the Lord. If heaven above can be measured. And the foundations of the earth searched out beneath. I will also cast off all the seed of Israel. For all that they have done. Saith the Lord. So, if this was to happen, right, if someone was to be able to measure out the heavens and measure out uh, the earth beneath, which nobody cannot do, then the Lord will cast off the seed of Israel forever. But since that cannot be done, the Heavenly Father is not going to cast off his seed, his chosen people. And this just shows you right here, this is another cut to you Christians to say, the Israelites were done away with. Because as long as you see the sun, as long as you see the moon, as long as you see the stars, right? We're still the Lord's people and we're still on earth today. Let's, um, I want to get a quick precept. I believe it's Ecclesiastes 1, not that one. I would, but there's a scripture uh, also says, uh, there's no end of all people. And I actually can't find, let me just type it in. Yeah, but the scriptures speak of, you know, that there's no end of all people. You know, so the Israelites exist today on earth. Now, how do you uh, prove who the Israelites are? You know, you go and find through the scriptures. Who fits the curses of the Israelites, of the people that will be cursed? Right? Who fits the prophecy of the Israelites? And it's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right? Undeniable fact. Also with sources... You know, outside the scriptures, which all we need is the scriptures to back up who, who, are, who are the Israelites. But we also have sources outside the scriptures that's proven uh, we are the Israelites, okay? You got like the Lost Lunar Stone with the t Ten Commandments written on it, okay? There's many different uh, stones that the natives uh, had here in these lands with the Ten Commandments written on it, okay? A lot of the customs that our different people was keeping, Going back to what? Going back to the Bible. Going back to the scrolls. Right? But I want to get this Ecclesiastes 4 verse 16. It says, There is no end of all the people, even all that have been before them. They also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Surely this also is vanity and vexation of spirit. You see? So there's no end of all people. Okay? So the Israelites still exist today. All right? They're on earth today. But let's get back to the point that the old and the new covenant is only for the house of Israel. Right? Let's get Hebrews 8 and 8. Because a lot of people like to say, well, that's the Old Testament, which the Old Testament and the New Testament are in agreement. But let's just get a new, go to the New Testament for you wacky Christians. Hebrews 8 verse 6, it says, But now have he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator 
of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For that the first covenant had been faultless, that should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Now, what is Paul in, re in reference to when he's mentioning this in Hebrews, the 8th chapter, the 8th verse? Jeremiah 31 and 31, what I just read, as it is written, okay? And there's many scriptures, you know, in the New Testament that's always going back, uh, 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 referencing the Old Testament, okay? Because at that time when they was on the scene, they were reading, reading from the Old Testament, okay? Showing you the Old Testament and the New Testament are together. They're in agreement. You cannot have one without the other. And this is why a lot of you wacky-tacky Christians don't have any understanding because you don't deal with the Old Testament. So that's why a lot of you are lost. That's why a lot of you are blinded. Okay? Furthermore, the Lord have blinded you people as well. Okay? But he was eating it against us for finding fault with them. He said, Behold, the days will come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. Who is that new covenant for? With the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It doesn't say everyone. It doesn't say the whole world. It doesn't say every nation. It says with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Because they continue not in my covenant and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and I will write them in their hearts and I will be to them a God. And they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. You see? So that new covenant is only for the Israelites, okay? The old covenant was for the Israelites, and the new covenant is for the Israelites. And there's no way you other nations, you natural Gentiles, can put yourself into the new covenant. A lot of you uh, wacky, tacky Christians like to make this uh, statement. You know, what about the new covenant? Well, we just read the new covenant. The new covenant is for the house of Israel, right? And the house of Judah. This is who the new covenant is for. It's not for all you other nations. And then y'all like to put in and say, well... We're spiritual Israelites. No, you're not. Okay? You only can be an Israelite by bloodline. Okay? Your seed will have to go to the fathers of it. Have to go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You will have to go, go be from that bloodline, that seed. Now, this thing is not about color. This is not a color thing. But it's about bloodline. It's about nationality. You can look like anyone from any nation. But if your spirit resides with the scriptures in, in, in all truth and sincerity, if your spirit bears witness with our spirit, right? And your spirit resonates with the Bible in all its full truth, the more than likely you're an Israelite. But the point is being made that the new covenant it's for the house of Israel. No other people. Shalom.